Solar power has been around for decades, but the business models haven't quite taken off yet due to issues with cost and reliability. Well, here in Israel's Negev Desert, a company named Bright Source Energy thinks it's found the solution to making large-scale solar electricity a reality. This is called the Solar Energy Development Center. This is a unique facility worldwide. We are producing here steam at the highest temperature and pressure based on solar power in the world. And we are proving that the system is reliable, is cheap, and is clean. While its R&D facility is in Israel, BrightSource is actually headquartered 7,000 miles away in California. That's where it will soon have to prove that its technology is ready for prime time. In a remote corner of the Mojave Desert, the company is moving forward with plans to build several solar thermal power plants over the next decade. If you look at the United States, the Southwest has world-class sun. So we've got some of the best sun in the world, and in a way it's the Saudi Arabia of, of solar. From this area, we can deliver power through the western grid, we can deliver power through uh, the midwestern grid and cover a large part of the country. Making solar cost-effective has riddled engineers for years. Photovoltaic cells, the black rectangular panels that convert sunshine into electricity, have long been the standard. But high prices make PV too costly to compete with fossil fuel and nuclear power plants. Enter BrightSource. We do it by assembling a large array of mirrors in the desert that focus the sun's rays up onto a boiler. That boiler generates superheated steam that turns a turbine and then delivers power. The hotter the temperature of the steam, the more efficient and less expensive the power. Cracking the cost problem has made BrightSource's solar thermal technology attractive for power companies looking to green their grids. New laws in California now mandate that utilities draw one-third of their power from renewable sources by 2020. That, plus incentives for eco-friendly building projects from the Obama administration, make solar thermal energy all the more alluring for investors and power companies alike. PG&E and Southern California Edison, two of the largest domestic utilities, have agreed to purchase more than 2,600 megawatts of power from BrightSource enough to eventually light close to a million homes. Research firm New Energy Finance estimates the company's contract with PG&E alone will bring in half a billion dollars a year once its plants come online. We're very focused on execution and we've built power plants before. So we come into this problem with this challenge with our eyes wide open. So I think we're very uh, thoughtful about what it takes to get power plants built. When we started to look at the issues, we also approach it from an environmental angle first. But even for so-called environmentally conscious companies, the path to completion can be rocky. BrightSource recently dropped one of its proposed development sites in the Mojave because California Senator Dianne Feinstein wants to turn the area into a national monument. Add in protests from environmentalists, sluggish California permitting, and the billions of dollars it will take to actually build the company's proposed plants, and it's anyone's guess when they'll be finished.